Psalms chapter 20 about the second advent to the chief musician a psalm of David the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble that's a great thing the name of God of Jacob defend thee see Daniel 12 verse 1 and Matthew 24 21 Lord's going to come at the second advent to get rid of the trouble of Israel. He's going to save them. He's going to give them victory for once. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings. And again, the law, the tavern, I mean, the temple, they're all going to be in the millennium. And set thy burnt offering, Selah. And like I said, when you, say, when you see Selah, even though it's a musical rest, we're in a musical book. Also, if you look within a few verses before, a few verses after, you'll see a tribula, uh, you see a, a, a second advent passage. And, well, this whole chapter is about the second advent. Grant thee according to thy own heart, and fulfill all thy counsel. God's going to do what he set to do. It's going to be done. It will be done. The tribulation will come. The second advent will come. The, the rapture will come. God is long-suffering. God is very patient. We will rejoice in thy salvation. Again, that's Jesus Christ. In the millennium, at the second advent, that's going to be Jesus Christ sitting in Jerusalem. But if it's the second advent passage, even though Jesus Christ is coming back with a rod of anger on horseback, there are going to be some that are going to rejoice. The Jews that they're on the Sea of the Petra. Now they're going to have fear, but they're also going to rejoice when they find out who that one is. So not all the world is going to be, you know, condemned before the second coming of Jesus. He's not going to wipe out the entire world. There's going to be Jews, and the Bible says there's going to be a judgment of nations. There's going to be some that Jesus said he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. And those that did everything for the Jews to help them out, they're going to go into the land in the millennium. And Jesus said, when it came to that judgment of the goats and sheep, he's going to say to the sheep, hey, listen, you helped my brethren, you, you did this, you visited us, you took care. And they're not even going to know. Until they find out from the judgment. So these people are not going to rejoice when Jesus comes. They're going to be in, in fear and awe. But when they stand in that judgment and realize they're one of the sheep nations, what a rejoicing that's going to be. I mean, can you imagine after you see Jesus throw people into the lake of fire that's going to be down south where the, where the Dead Sea is today, that, oh man, he's going to throw us in there. And Jesus is going to say, hey, you took care of my brother, you, you fed him, you took care of him. Hey, I'm, well, when did I do that? <laughs> what are you talking about, Jesus? Well, you did it unto me because you did it unto my brother. You can come in the land like, wow. They don't even know. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. There's your flags. Banner. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. A name above all names. For there is no other name given among men, whereby ye must be born again. You must be saved. And this is all about Jesus Christ. And again, this is a song. Now, know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. Well, what do you think Christ means? Christ means anointed. What do you mean saveth his anointed? Look at all that he's, he went through from the first advent all the way to the, to the resurrection and ascension.
You ever wonder, it doesn't say in the Bible, but I know there was a time when, when the apostles were up in the upper room and they were frightened and Jesus came walking in. And it says that, you know, Thomas wasn't there. He says, you know, at least I see the foot, you know, the, the prints and the nails and all that. Everyone, it, it, the second time, it, it, Satan tried to get Thomas involved with something else, not to be there. I mean, Peter says, I go fishing, and there's Jesus. Makes you wonder if any other, you know, the apostles say, you will go. Makes you wonder if anyone, you know, maybe the devil put him to do something else. If they had done something else, they would have missed Jesus. He will hear him from his holy heaven. Also, there is a heaven above heavens of holy. The Bible records that there are three heavens. Like there are three parts to the tabernacle, to the temple. There's the outer court. That's what we're in. There's the holy. The heavens, even though Satan is there. And then there's the holies of holies. That's the holy heaven. That's where the ark is. That's where the cherubim are. That's where no, only one person can go in there once a year. And that's twice. One for his sins and then one for the sins of the people. With the saving strength of his right hand. And I've told you over and over, where is Jesus? Jesus is at the right hand of God. That's Jesus. Some trust in chariots. Some in horses. Yeah, that verse is it, it, funny. What would it be a chariot without a horse? I'm prone to wonder if they had like any, if they had maybe chariots that you could pedal or something. Because a chariot to me wouldn't move unless you had the horse. Or. To some, maybe the chariot was the best thing, and maybe to others, the horse was the best thing. You know, the armor I have on my chariot's good. Well, if the horse dies, I can get another one. Or someone may think, well, the horse, you know, if he moves quick and is strong, he can carry the chariot. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. And that's the one. Chariots and horses ain't going to compete against God. Ask Judah later on. Ask, um, I can't think of his name now, Belshazzar in Babylon later on. Ask Alexandra. Man, he conquered the whole world and died, I believe, what, something like 33 years, something like that, as a drunk. You mean chariots and his horses couldn't keep him alive? But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. That's important. You know, today it's the name of Jesus has been removed. Today the, the, the title of Baptist has been removed. We call ourselves community churches. We, we, we non-denominational churches. We've just taken the name out. you got to have a name. You got to have an identity. I'm trying to think which church it is. It says that I'll give you a new name written in stone. Imagine looking at a, at a graveyard, and there are some cases where there is, but you see stones and they absolutely have no names. You have no idea who's buried there. Now there are there are grave rides like that for people who have no money or people who are known John Doe's and Jane Doe's. Imagine a poor mailman if you didn't have a name. They are brought down to wait, they are brought down and fallen. That's not a place you want to be in battle. Brought down and fallen. Well, if you fall in battle, one of the possibilities is you're dead. Or you've been injured. Or you've fallen on something. But we are risen. 
That's the spot you want to be. And Christians are not risen today. They brought down and fallen. And it makes it be sound stupid, especially in the old World War One and World War Two combats in Korea and all that, is you would think the worst place for a soldier is to be standing up. But the Bible says our battle is not carnal. It's not fleshly. We have a spiritual battle. We are to stand up. And God has given us the armor. And we are to stand. And stand upright. You don't just stand there slouching. Upright and at attention. Ready to take the orders. Ready for God to command you to go. I'd be, it'd be kind of hard if you put all that armor on and, and, got it and you're sitting in a seat trying to get up in a hurry. Save Lord. Now that's interesting. Capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. Jehovah. You know which way do Jews read? Well, I wouldn't call it backwards. I call it right to left. So if you read that Lord save, who was who is that? Come on now. That's Jesus Christ, Jehovah saves. In chapter 20, verse 9, you see Jesus Christ. Look at that. Don't go messing with the words in the Bible. I don't know what another Bible, I don't care what another Bible is, but maybe they messed with that. If you were to read right to left as a Jew does, you just read the name of Jesus Christ. That's what they told Mary. Call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people. Joshua, Hosea. You know, I bet you Joshua, Jesus, and Hosea, I bet you each of those has a, has a content to each member of the Trinity. I haven't studied that, but I bet you were to study. Let the king hear us when we call. Well, there's the king, the Lord Jesus Christ. We close. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great. And when I think that God, his son, not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee, how great Thou art.